Welcome back to The Big Picture. I'm Penny Wolfgang. WBBZ-TV is home to Western New York's legacy bowling show, Beat the Champ. But coronavirus restrictions under orders from the governor, Cuomo, shut down the lanes. Now, as various phases have opened up more businesses, bowling houses remain closed, even while other states as close as Pennsylvania have taken measures to try and keep people safe while they bowl. Recently, Chris Musial caught up with some bowling proprietors who have launched a campaign to send bowling pins, just like this, to Albany and lobby to get us rolling again. You know, any business, not only bowling business, but imagine if you've been working your business for 40 or 50 years, and all of a sudden, one day you were shut down, and you were shut down for four months without one bit of income, with all your expenses still coming in, and, and not know when you're going to be able to reopen. Well, the, the biggest issue is we don't have any guidance from our governor. We, we don't know. We are all expecting in phase four. Phase four happened. We didn't get in. And there's no communication on what we need to do as a community to open the doors. Uh, so, yeah, well, uh, we were under the understanding that uh, once phase four hit, we would be allowed to open along with most other businesses. And unfortunately, we found out shortly before phase four hit that we were going to be uh, not included in that uh, phase. Um, I really don't understand why. There are plenty of other businesses that are open that are following the, the safe uh, you know, guidelines, whether it be social distancing, mask wearing, um, sanitization, all things that we can do in our center perfectly safely. Um, in fact, I, I think probably easier than some other places. Our buildings are um, basically designed uh, for social distancing. We can have families, you know, 12 feet apart, every other lane would, would put a family 12 feet from the next family over. Um, so I, I just don't understand why we're not part of the group. From Western New York to the North Country and all across New York State, bowling center owners and bowlers are feeling the pinch as Governor Cuomo continues to throw gutter balls their way. Well, the, the big thing is, uh, it seems like that we need to contact the governor. We, we need um, all, all the bowlers, we need all the people uh, to just write to the governor and you know ask him to open up a bowling centers. We can provide a very safe, um, socially distant um, environment um, where people can enjoy themselves. People want to do things, they want to come out and we know that we can provide a very safe environment for them. Yeah, we lost two, two months, the last two months of uh, last year's bowling season, which is the, the busiest time. That's the uh, you know, the bread and butter for every bowling center is, is that time between tournaments, banquets, and everything else. Um, so we already lost that. You can't get that back. So we really need to uh, be able to open our doors for bowling in September in order to, uh, to survive. As horrible as COVID-19 is, there's another side to this story. There's a lot of, I see people in this room that are usually jovial and, uh, you know, we have a good time, fool around with each other, a lot of joking around. The mood is very solemn this time around. We're, we're in a fight for our lives, actually. I, you know, COVID-19 would be one thing, but I don't know if this is any better, not knowing what your future holds, uh, not knowing what's gonna go on, whether you're gonna be able to reopen by the time they let you. All the uncertainty is a killer. It has gotten so bad that some centers, including Miller's in the Finger Lakes region, are being forced to close their doors forever. So if this thing keeps going into September, September is uh, you know when all of our bowling leagues start. Yeah, we lost two two months, the last two months of uh, last year's bowling season, which is the the busiest time. That's the you know the bread and butter for every bowling center is is that time between tournaments, banquets, and everything else. Um, so we already lost that. You can't get that back. So we really need to uh, be able to open our doors for bowling in September in order to uh, to survive. We, we have already heard of a couple bowling centers in New York that announced that they were permanently closing, which is sad, and I, I think you're going to see a lot more of that if things don't change quick. While bowlers are forced to sit on the sidelines in New York, just across the state line in Pennsylvania, Beat the Champ partner Billy Lanes in Bradford and other centers in the Keystone State have been allowed to reopen following state and CDC health guidelines. Glad to be back, that's for sure. Jack and I were excited when they said we could open. I mean, it's only 50% uh, capacity, but still, it's better than nothing. Uh, we've had uh, pretty good support tonight, uh, so I know that's a good thing, and uh, tomorrow looks pretty good as far as that goes. 
a lot of a lot of people that uh, have their own equipment and stuff tonight. Not many, not many open bowlers per se. Just people that have missed bowling that that bowl on a regular basis. So, you know, I mean, that's good. I'm glad they're supporting us, and uh, hopefully, it uh, just continues like that. On this side of the state border, it is extreme frustration. I mean, if you haven't been able to get a dollar into your facility in four months, we only have so only have so much money to get through. Granted, summers are slower, but still, we, we lost the end of our season, and now our beginning of our season is threatened because we can't open the doors. We need to open the doors now in order to uh, be ready for the fall season. Well, in, in March, on March 15th, when we were told we'd have to close down, uh, we lost all of the endings of our leagues. Most of our bowling leagues had six to eight weeks left on them. Um, we lost all of the banquets that we had scheduled. We lost any birthday parties, any year-end parties. And that's our, our big time of the year, March, April, and the first couple of weeks in May. And that's exactly what was taken away from us. Now we're on the other end of that spectrum where we're ready to open back up because we're ready to organize, organize for our uh, fall leagues. We have our reorganizational meetings, typically the first and second week in August can't have a reorganizational meeting if you have no idea whether you're going to be able to reopen. You know, we, we were doing the takeout and now we're doing outdoor, limited indoor dining, but that, that can't fully support us. There's, there's no way we can do that. That's not, a, that's not a permanent solution. That's why the proprietors came up with an unusual and visual way to get their message out to Governor Andrew Cuomo and other state and local leaders during their annual meetings in Ithaca, New York recently. We're going to start a little unique campaign. We want, uh, I think, some of the bowlers in the western New York area, and within the next few days, we'll put this on our Facebook pages and pass the word through the bowling communities that we want each of our bowlers to get a bowling pin and send it to their local representatives. Better yet, send it to the governor. We want them to get about a thousand bowling pins, seeing where we're not doing anything with them anyway. You know, we'll send them to him. And, and send them the equipment that we're not using and maybe he'll get the message that uh, there are a lot more people that are affected by this than, than you can possibly imagine. The biggest thing is, is contacting the governor. Um, also, one of our plans is we're gonna send the governor bowling pins. So if anyone from in the Alley Brand area that wants a bowling pin to send to the governor, I'll give it to you free of charge. Just send it to them. Um, you know, we want to make a message to him that uh, bowlers want to bowl. Bowlers want to compete. Bowlers and, and family members just want to come out and enjoy themselves. Yeah, reach out to everybody you can. I mean, a quick Google search and you can uh, easily find the contact form for the governor and your local leaders, uh, whichever county you're in. Um, you know, the more the more people that reach out and, and make our voices heard, you know, they always say the, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Well, we need everybody to be a little squeaky here. <laughs> Bowling centers are small businesses in our communities and these shutdowns impact other people and businesses as well. Yeah, just the trickle down effect. You know, we have 9,000 employees in the bowling centers that belong to the Bowling Proprietors Association. Um, we have bowling pro shops where we have people that, that sell bowling equipment for a living. And these people are all out of business. Our beer distributors are not selling beer through our bowling centers. Pop distributors, we're not selling Pepsi through our bowling centers. Uh, candy bars, it just, I mean, you know, you could reach way down and, and find a million things that are being hurt by our, our 30 centers in Western New York and our 200 centers across the state. You know, we, we always support the community with fundraisers and everything else like that. And this is time that we need your support to just help us. I know some people think it's not safe or whatever, but we're still business owners. We're still very important to the community and we, we need help. And like you said, you're willing to abide by the rules. Absolutely. We just need to know what the rules are. And once we know what the rules are, we're going to do everything we can to open doors and make it very safe for, the, uh, for our guests. If you would like to see Western New York bowling centers allowed to safely reopen following the state and CDC guidelines, you can contact the governor's office simply by going online to governor.newyork.gov. Scroll down and click contact and send a message to the governor. We have all the info on our website, wbbz.tv, and the Beat the Champ Facebook page. 
Well, we're going to keep you posted on whether the bowling proprietors are successful in getting the games going while we all look to beat the champ safely again. <laughs> Remember to watch Beat the Champ every Saturday afternoon at 4 and Sunday night at 11. I'm Penny Wolfgang in for Phil Arno. Thanks so much for watching The Big Picture and WBBZ-TV.